Hey, welcome to our Kickstarter for Apama, the Undiscovered Animal, hardcover collection, volume one. Collecting issues one through five. This is Milo Miller. <laughs> I'm uh, Milo Miller. And I'm Ted Sakura. I, see, I thought you would. We are raising money for Apama, the Undiscovered Animal, in its first ever printed form. This will be a hardcover collection of the first five issues with over 160 pages. We've been working with this Apama character for the last 15 years, be it feature film, web comics, comicsology, art installations, but this will be the first time ever the comic series is available in print. It's important to note that 95% of the pages are complete, financed entirely with our own time and money. We are finishing up the lettering on issue 5 and then this baby's off to the printer. Equally important to note is that this is a standalone series and no knowledge of any of our other projects is required to enjoy it. Our story opens in Cleveland with a Hungarian ice cream truck driver named Ilya Zsarski. Ilya goes hiking in the woods one day and falls down a cliff. There at the bottom he had a vision or dream about an animal tournament where the animals gathered to determine who was the mightiest. And the winner is the one you've never heard of, Obama who, as his victory prize, chooses to remain undiscovered and unknown to others. Now, Pamas are pretty much the dicks of the animal kingdom. When Ilya awakens, he realizes he's right outside of a cave. Inside of the cave, Ilya discovers a mummified body and an equally bizarre scroll. The scroll seems to inform him that if he's able to put his body into this exact pose, he will release within himself the savage spirit of the Apama animal. What we next see is Ilya's dogged determination as he tries to enact over months this exact pose. Until finally... These first five issues explore Ilya learning about what he's unlocked. This incredible strength, this enhanced speed and stealth, the ability to communicate with animals who sometimes don't have a whole lot of interesting things to say, and then others who actually do especially his pet rat, Liza. It's funny, I envy him for being a Pama, and I could see him being the friend, dude, how did you become a superhero? <laughs> Which is one of the things that I find charming about the book because it feels very unique and different and fresh to me. The book is so good. It's so well drawn and there's cool shit that happens. There's a new villain that's introduced and he has extremely awesome powers. It's by far the best book we've read via the Comixology Submit, in my opinion. Milo Miller and I co-authored the series. I also do the coloring and lettering, and we've been extremely blessed to have the book illustrated by Benito Guillego. He's done countless publications in Spain, as well as projects for DC and Marvel Comics. He's an amazing storyteller, and his style feels instantly classic. The Apama Hardcover Collection, Volume 1, will also feature pinups from some of the industry's best, including Ron Friends, inked by Sal Buscema, Mark Wheatley, Eddie Newell, and a crazy one from Bob Burden, who includes his own creation, Flaming Carrot. In issue five, we'll be introducing Apama's arch nemesis. This is a psychodelic flower child gone wrong. She is the human bad trip. This is based loosely on a local legend that has been called Helltown. She is ground very much in the 60s movement. In creating this character's backstory, I realized that her origin would be a really cool premise for another movie. So I do now have a screenplay titled Bloom that tells that story, and it is offered as one of the rewards in our Kickstarter campaign. Another reward we're offering is a feature film titled Hero Tomorrow, both on DVD and for the first time Blu-ray. Hero Tomorrow tells the story of a guy named David who has an idea for a comic book series titled Apama, the Undiscovered Animal, David can't get a Pama published, and his girlfriend, being an aspiring fashion designer, decides to make him an Apama costume for Halloween. Once David has this costume and his personal life goes down the drain, he goes a little nuts and starts running around trying to be a superhero. The dark comedy played festivals all over the world and got some terrific press. We are checking out Chris Gore's favorite films from the Comic-Con Film Festival. Well, let's start with some of the picks. You brought the best of the best. Yes. Well, Hero Tomorrow. Hero Tomorrow by Ted Sikora. The cool thing about this movie really is how ambitious it was on such a low budget. I mean, they made this film in Ohio for dirt money. Just to clarify, after the film was completed, we decided we really did like this idea of a Pama, the undiscovered animal. So we began to produce it as a standalone comic book series, and it has taken on a life all its own. 
it's kind of unlike anything I've ever read. This like, comic would be what this guy from the movie created. There's really nothing in media that I can think of that is quite like this. We wouldn't have done this book if we didn't feel like we could really do something new within the genre. We're really grateful with your help to continue the story, to get it printed, and reach a bigger audience. Thanks, Thanks for, for your, your support. support.